Sure, guys. Get what it was is happening. Um, today's topic, guys, I'm going to be talking about prayer and the importance of prayer. So, like, I just woke up uh, and like, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I don't believe that you have to choose how you communicate with God. It's all about God accepting who you are and Him hearing your prayer. Like, you know, kind of like you knowing um, when to ask your mom for stuff and when to ask your dad and what to ask you. So there are things that I'm like, mm-hmm. can't ask Jesus this. Nah, bruh. Nigga's gonna say no. I'm like, but my niggas, my ancestors got me, right? Like, they knew me, they understand me, you know what it is, right? So, like, by saying that I have direct access to God, I'm going to give you a tip here. When we go to Matthew 6, and Jesus is speaking to his disciples, he legit taught them how to pray directly to God. He gave them a short prayer, and I'm going to dissect it for you. I'm going to dissect the prayer for you. So the prayer goes, Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed or blessed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. <clears throat> the definition of prayer is a formal request for help or an expression of thanksgiving to God or another entity or deity, you know. So in that regard, you have to be formal, right? When you talk to God and you have to respect Him, depending on the relationship you have with Him, right? Because you could look at it in different ways. You could be respectful to, oh yeah, let me just bring it to the parents. We respect our parents, but we crack jokes now and again so that they know who we are when we're around our friends. They know who we are when we're around um, other people, you know? So whatever relationship you have with God, that's on you, bro. Like, I'm not going to judge you. Because, you know, but like respect is like, almost always needed. I personally... <clears throat> have a kind of relationship where I like I crack jokes during prayer. Like guys, it's guys, yo. So Jesus gave them a direct link. And then Chiggy Chiggy, he's like nobody can get to the Father except through me. Somewhere in the Bible he said that. I don't know where, but like but no one can get to the Father. I'm like ah Joe now you change your mind. Don't we have direct access? You said we have direct access. Our Father who is in heaven, he told his disciples how to pray. I'm not his disciple, right? So I have a different relationship with God <clears throat> than his disciples. But since I chose Christianity, I have a relationship with Jesus. I also crack jokes with him when I pray. Like, like we negotiate, right? So, um... It, it's always good to maintain contact with your ancestors, maintain contact with Jesus, and maintain contact with God. So, let me get back to um, that prayer. Before he taught them the direct link to God, he actually said a few things before that, like before you get to verse 11. Um, he tells them when you pray go to your room close the door and your heavenly father is going to hear you when you pray right do not be like the heathens that pray in public and do not use multiple words be direct right but like god understands we have different personalities when we speak to him 
I swear it's a slander, dog. Like, we talk freely. Like, yo, my nigga, I had a rough day. This hand that I was trying to holler at, I really think I'm falling for her, blah, blah, blah. And then you get to the point, right? Good. Okay, actually, the reason I'm here... Uh, it's just to say thank you and then you sleep, right? Or be like, the reason I'm here is I need your help today. Like, this thing, I wanted to go like this. That thing, I wanted to go like that, right? But let your will be done according to the prayer. Let your will be done because he knows how the future is going to look like. Like, he's playing chess. It's okay. If I do this for this nigga, he's going to switch on me. Or if I do this for this nigga, He's gonna okay. For example, if you pray for a car, and then God is like, mm, "This nigga's not ready for a car. He likes drinking. He's gonna drink and drive." Nope, I'm not gonna get him a car, right? Because you need to be disciplined, disciplined when it comes to getting such things. Um, so today, I'm actually criticizing the Zulu car. You know, in the Zulu culture. And in Christianity, there is, I don't like religion at all. I've stated that before, and I'm stating it again. Like, I don't see no use for religion, whether it's in our culture or whether it's in Christianity. Like, you have to develop that relationship yourself with God. Which, okay, when I talk to God, this is what I do. Create your own religion. It's okay, before I talk to God, I must praise Him. That's according to Christianity. There's praise and worship. You praise him, you praise him, you praise him, and then you say your prayer. That's religion. But if you have your own relationship, you have an agreement with God. But nah, my nigga, let's talk. And what I've learned from Christianity is that you could probably be at home and you don't tell anyone that you're traveling, you're going anywhere. And then you leave the house and then chiggy chiggy. You remember, man, time, man. I forgot to tell God I'm going somewhere, yes. Forgot to tell you. You're in the street. Then you start praying, God, please protect me from accidents. Protect me from this and that until I reach my destination. Because you have that constant contact, right? So, when it comes to African people, I legit don't understand why we confine those who believe in their ancestors. I don't get why we confine our ancestors to M. Samu. Like, mm. so you think that your ancestors only are to M. Samu? You only talk to them M. Samu? Like, Jesus prayed for people in public. He laid hands on them in public. Like, yo, that's really powerful. That, like, if you have that much faith in God and you pray for people, not just for them to heal, but like for them to overcome whatever they're going through and they have faith, then that's really powerful, my guy. Do you, be you. But all I'm saying is, if you believe in ancestors, don't just talk to them and tell them. Like when you feel that you need their help in public, shout out for help. Your niggas are gonna come through. Whether you call them by name, or however you communicate with them, just make sure that when you holler at them, when you're like, ah, I can't handle the situation right now, I'm unable to care, I need your help. Like, for example, if they're trying to mug you, and you're like, ah, tamano wajima, jo, tamano wajima. nah, I can't take on that guy, I need your help. They're gonna give you strength, they're gonna give you strength. Or wisdom to overcome that guy. However, you know in the Bible, David, Abulai, Goliath, somehow, Smolanya and a bomb shot. God. So basically, what I'm saying is don't confine God to a church building. We're going to be only gonna talk to God at church. Don't confine your ancestors to Msab. We're going to be only gonna talk to the Msab. I mean, we live in a world where people pray in public. Why stop talking to your ancestors? Why stop talking to Jesus? Why stop talking to God until you reach your house? Until, dude, pray when you need help. Help is gonna come. He promised you. Like, okay, now remember, I said I was gonna dissect the prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You're giving thanks to God. Right? That's the first thing you do. 
I really only talk to your parents. You're like, no, thanks, Dad, for this. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, my birthday. Thank you. But now I'm going back to school. You start by saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because, like, yo, money. It's really good to say thank you to people in your life. It's really good to say thank you to God and the unseeable than I know, however, help that you get, like personally, let's let's do the right thing, let's not only confine our ancestors to Umsabu, and let's not only confine Jesus to the church building, let's not only confine um, God, he's everywhere, he's everywhere, he's always watching, so, guys, can we use that time when we pray to God wisely? Like, know how to pray to God. And know that, obviously, you're gonna have to know. So, okay, I pray like this, and it happened. Mm. Then it's like, okay, this is how you work with God. And then you're like, Jesus, I prayed like this, and it happened. So this is how I talk to you. That's not different. Then your ancestors, you know. He's my ancestor. I'm first Like he's the one. Or she's the one. Whichever ancestor you choose. Like now, I'm first Bamani. So it will be a little Because more. Like you, you, you just have to develop that. Get out the music. I read.